Hines is heading up an effort to put the spotlight on local high school athletes who have positive stories to tell. And we're teaming up with Positive Athlete Pittsburgh and MSA Sports to introduce you to one of these special athletes each week here on the show. This week's athlete is Kobe Urig, a hockey player from Moon High School. Kobe's considered a positive athlete for more than just his time on the ice. He volunteers his time on his own, getting up as early as 6 a.m. to help players aged 9 to 11 learn the game of hockey. It's a great story. Here's Hines with Kobe right now. All right, Kobe, let's get started right away. How's it, how important is it for you to be known as a role model and why? It's honestly not as important as people might think. I mean, it's just you want to be well known to like your players that you're helping out. And um, you were in their, their shoes, obviously. Uh, so they're going to be in your shoes at some point because you're playing for the same association and you were at that level at one point, you were at that age, and you wanted to become better, and you wanted to learn the game. And they look up to you, so you just gotta, you know, just stick with it and help them when they need it, and uh, just stay with them the entire season, and they'll, they'll help you out as, as you help them. A leader by example, I like that. What do you think are your greatest strengths as a mentor and a positive athlete? My greatest strengths, I believe, are my uh, leadership and perseverance. Um, I think these two traits helped me earn the assistant captain patch that you saw in those pictures uh, with Moon Hockey this season. Um, I like to just, you know, you got to overcome some obstacles to get to where you want to be during a season. And uh, you're going to have to lead throughout the way, pick up the players that, you know, aren't your top guns, but, you know, they all have a purpose on the team and you need to let them know that. And um, you need to, like I said, you know, overcome those obstacles, whether it be just beating your rivals or winning playoffs. Just you have your set goal and you're, you try to accomplish it year in and year out. Cool, cool. If I played your iPod right now, what song would I hear first? Uh, I, I couldn't tell you what song you'd hear first, but it would be one of the uh, 52, I think it is, on my pump up playlist. So I listen to that before I hit the ice every game. I got some alternative on there and some rock. And uh, my personal favorite, I think, is This Is War by 30 Seconds to Mars. That's the last song I listen to before I hit the ice, just some kind of superstition that I have. Well, this is war, because uh, I need to listen to that before I do this show all the time, trust me. <laughs> uh, last question, Crosby or Malkin? With all due respect to Malkin, I mean, NHL MVP, that's obviously tough to do, but uh, I, I gotta give the edge to Sidney Crosby. I'm more of a Crosby guy. I, I think he uh, is one of the greatest players to ever play, and possibly the greatest to ever play. So. Uh, if he stays healthy, he can probably uh, match maybe Mario's numbers in the future, and I hope he does. Wow, that's nice. Well, I appreciate you coming on the show there. Thank you for having me. And for appearing on our show, we have some merchandise from my 86 Forever line for Kobe. Check out the Heinz Ward gear tonight on tscshop.com.